reclining seats in theaters uh, later this year. That sounds pretty good, a recliner in a movie theater. I could, I could maybe pay a little extra for that. That sounds pretty yeah. nice. I'd yeah. get on board with that, too. <laughs> yeah. Wayne, have you seen Barbie yet? Uh, I've missed it, but I can okay. see you're ready. <laughs> I am ready. Yeah. Yeah, see? Yeah, yeah. I figured opening weekend. Got to bring out the pink. <laughs> hey, so Porta Calama, a little bit cooler out there. Looks like people getting ready to go on the river cruise. It is 81 degrees, partly cloudy. Well, warmer in wine country, 88. The wind's pretty calm. Beautiful scene out there at Stoller Winery. As we now make our way to downtown Portland, where we have been sticking at 88 degrees. This is also our daytime high. Some clouds rolling on through, but as we go into our evening hours, a very nice warm evening. You're not going to need a jacket if you're heading out to the Tempers game later because by 9 p.m. we're still in the upper 70s. So daytime highs unofficially as you make your way down the southern part of the valley, uh, 93 for Eugene. On the coast, a warm day at 73, the daytime high for Astoria. But out in the gorge, a scorcher, 96, the daytime high for the Dalles. And out in the Dalles and uh, Wasco and Jefferson County, there is these, this air quality alert for today. And then making your way to the lower Columbia Basin out towards Pendleton, a red flag warning because of this critical fire weather danger with dry conditions, gusty winds, and this is in effect until tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Something to be aware of. Here are our weather headlines for the metro area. We will see another summery day tomorrow, very similar to today. But then Monday, that's when we'll see a big cool down along with some spotty rain showers. So the ridge of high pressure sticking around through tomorrow with those warm conditions. And then we have the change in the weather pattern come Monday. So cooler conditions, cloudier too Monday, as well as some spotty scattered showers. So more showers for us on Monday, but then Tuesday in the morning, that's when we'll see some spotty showers, maybe more like drizzle for us here, uh, especially in Portland. So not too much rain in the metro area. Some models saying closer to a tenth of an inch from Monday morning to Tuesday morning. This is till Tuesday evening. Uh, but Cannon Beach, Astoria, seeing more rain over those two days. Here's a time lapse from May to now late July for our drought monitor across our state. Central Oregon, that's where you're seeing the more moderate and severe uh, category uh, of our dryness. And 75% of our state is now in the drought conditions. Timing this out for you, starting our Sunday morning, pretty clear skies for us in the metro area. Southwest Washington could see some clouds. Warm morning for us and a beautiful afternoon as we get into the upper 80s. But then tomorrow evening, that's when we'll see increasing clouds. And then by 6, 630, the coast will start to see the spotty showers. And then when we get later into our morning by lunchtime, that's when we will see some spotty showers. We've got some consistent rain coming on through. Not much. We won't see any heavy downpours like here in the metro area, but Monday evening still going to see some showers. Tomorrow, our Sunday fun day. Plenty of sunshine for most of us from the valley to the gorge and central Oregon. Here is our seven day forecast. So Monday, that's when we'll see the scattered showers throughout the metro area. Tuesday morning, we'll see more like drizzle here and there. Uh, and then sun breaks Tuesday and then sunshine and dry for the rest of the week, low 80s. Yeah, it's been a while since we've had any rain at all. We'll take even a few drops. We'll take yes, it. we will. <laughs>